all, this is how we jay for mass communication. And I'm again with another video. You can see I have machine MSI in front of me. So in this machine, I can show you some problem that if you have, if you're booting your machine is not start from your window or you get some information is saying the boot is invalid and blah, blah, blah. Or after installing windows, you couldn't boot from window that you have installed. It tries to boot from another booting option. So in this case, first of all, you can shut down the machine or you can restart your machine. I restart this machine. Let's see, it's done. Now I will leave this machine to start boot itself. Let's see, MSI. You see, I get this option. So if you hit OK button, it will start the boot from your window. What can you do in this? Hold the power button, shut it down. Let me zoom a bit. You can hold again the power button and hit F2 while it's booting. F2, go to the BIOS option. It's not allowing me. Hit one more time, shut it down. Hit again. Try with Dell button. It's corner the Dell or check what you have in your machine. And then you see I have here the boot option. Advanced. We don't need to do anything here. The boot option. This is you have to decide as this. You have to check the first one. You have to hit enter the first one. You decide which one. See I hit this one. So this is selected the first one. I hit F10 button in this case, yes. And we'll see what is happening. Let's see. If machine starts normally, that is okay. If it's not start, we have to come. You see, again, we have the same option. Secure boot violation, invalid signature detected check, secure boot policy in your setup. Hit one more time power button, go to the DOS, sorry, go to the BIOS option again. Go to the boot option. This is enable this hard drive window boot. I hit this one, Windows boot. I have two options here. Okay, boot one more time. UEFI hard drive parity. I go to this option. I hit enter. Select the first option. Enter. I choose the second one. Here you see. Not the first one, the second one. One more time. Here we go. Enter. The second one. Enter F10. Let's see what happened. I hit yes. Okay, in this case, I'm succeeded to erase that message. This is awesome, guys. You see, I don't need to go to any option to boot inside and nothing at all. So I hit here, restart the machine to see that everything is fine or not. Let's see. So I don't get any annoying message. So it's working properly. Okay guys, if you like this video, please do subscribe to my channel. If you like this segment, please give me a thumbs up. As always, for more information, go to the Ask Communication, www.askcommunication.com. Have a lovely evening. Take care. Till then, bye-bye.